Every actor starts somewhere, and sometimes that somewhere is a world away from the spotlight. Long before Margot Robbie smashed the patriarchy in Barbie, she manned the counter at Subway. She shared in a video for the Australian Council of Trade Unions, I worked in restaurants behind the bar, in the kitchen, I did retail for two years, I've done some secretary work. Julia Roberts may have been only 20 when she showed up in Mystic Pizza, but the Georgia-born star had already steeled herself for the real world by scooping ice cream. Meanwhile, Sandra Bullock was surely the Miss Congeniality of Bartenders. Megan Fox dressed as a banana to let passing drivers know there was a smoothie shop that way, and dispensing swirls of frozen yogurt was just one of the early gigs keeping the idea of acting alive for Nicholas Galaxine. Point being, what a blend of first jobs. As the consummate entertainer Hugh Jackman once mused, when you first go into the workforce, your first job, whether it's a 7-Eleven or whatever it is, you realize that you've got a role to play and people are expecting you to fulfill it. After working at that particular convenience store, he told Fast Company in 2019, I was left with this feeling that I could make my way. I could work with my hands, my feet, and my brain. Similarly, Brad Pitt worked at an El Polo Loco in Hollywood. He said on Ellen, man's gotta eat, adding that he felt no shame about his days dressed as a chicken for the fast food chain. The Oscar-winning actor and producer George Clooney didn't go to medical school before scrubbing into ER in 1994, but he did sell insurance. Clooney stated, I sold insurance door to door, but it didn't work out well. The late night host Jimmy Fallon started off working in a grocery store, which wasn't bad, minus having to scrape gum off the welcome mats. The Thor actor Chris Hemsworth got his first job at 14 cleaning brass pumps at a pharmacy, and as he said on The Tonight Show, repairing them as well occasionally. When Tom Hanks was in high school, the Oscar winner sold popcorn and peanuts at Oakland Athletics Games, a tear-free gig since there's no crying in baseball. Before walking the glamorous red carpets, Amy Adams waited tables at Hooters, which she said was a great way to earn money to buy a car. Nicki Minaj revealed she started off waiting tables at Red Lobster restaurants. Funnily enough, she also said, I've gotten fired from all three or four of them.